Welcome to the fifth Sunday of Easter here at St. John Lutheran Church. We pray that we will be blessed this day and we continue to hope and look forward to the time when we can gather together again here. Our opening hymn is number 126, At the Lamb's High Feast We Sing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. O God, form the minds of your faithful people into a single will. Make us love what you command, and desire what you promise, that amid all the changes of this world, our hearts may be fixed where true joy is found. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? 
And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak it on my own, but the Father who dwells in me, does his words. Believe me, that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly, I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and in fact, will do greater works than these, because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord. On the fifth Sunday in Easter, the Gospel reading is the one the Church uses as one of the standard funeral texts. It starts out with, do not let your hearts be troubled. While I understand the thought, I also cannot fathom how when one has lost a loved one, a person's heart would not be troubled. We grieve, but we do not grieve as those who have no hope is, is written. For we truly have a living hope. The hope is that one who said to the disciples, I am the way and the truth and the life. Follow me and you will find a way. I'm also reminded in this specific time of a hymn by Martin Luther. It's entitled, In the Very Midst of Death, Life as Us. Excuse me. It's In the Very Midst of Life, Death Has Us Surrounded. I cannot avoid it. I am reminded constantly to wash my hands to stay home, one, and not to go out. For us, once every two weeks, we get to go out and make groceries. I wear a mask, and most people around me are wearing masks, and they are not fun Mardi Gras masks. Well, all I does have cactuses on it. My daughter in law from Arizona made it sound to me. But I do try to be careful because I don't want to get this illness. Some of you may be aware that our district president, Eric Johnson, tested positive for COVID 19 and has been virtually incapacitated for more than a month now. So if you have been wondering what happened to the call list for St. John, now you know. And our timeline was for the call committee to have interviewed the candidates, gone carefully through their 
their CDs, so to speak, um, maybe met with one or two, and we were going to have a congregational meeting about this time. I think we scheduled it, in fact, in our minds for either this or next week to call a pastor. But guess what? Life changed. I happen to also know the anxiety around me. While you might think this would be a great time to get things done, some of the reading that I've been meaning to do, or some of the work on family systems theory, and some of the things that I needed to produce in the teaching of it, I'm struggling because I'm finding it much harder to concentrate. In the very midst of life, death has us surrounded. I have spent many years being with families when they face the loss of a loved one and how difficult it is for them. For those who are close to the person who died, they often describe it as, as saying, it's like a whirlwind that just passed me by. Everything is happening. And I didn't even feel like I was there in some ways, as if I was unaware. And then there's the ritual that's involved. A gathering of family, of friends, the funeral, and a, a repast, a meal, some food afterwards. All of those things that used to occur, and now there isn't that kind of closure. What the standard right now is there's a committal with a funeral to follow. The words that are spoken by Thomas echo. Lord, how do we know the way? The answer comes to us very, very individually. I am the way, the truth, and the life. The time you were baptized in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one of the questions either you were asked or your parents were asked, depending on whether you were an adult or an infant, was how are you named? And then your name was spoken and individually you were made a child of God. The promise is given to you in your baptism. You are a child of God. You are his daughter. You are his son. And Jesus is your brother. The one who went to the cross, the one who speaks to us in the midst of these events of this age and all ages, down to the event of today. And Jesus says to you, I go to prepare a place for you in my Father's house. There are many places. And one of those is a place for you. There are times in life when I or we need to stop for a moment and take a breath. And not a quick breath, but a breathe in and a breathe out. And remember that it was God, our God, who breathed into this flesh the breath of life and created life. Yes. So, in the very midst of life, death may have us surrounded. Luther asked, where can I a helper find? And his answer is, in Christ Jesus. Amen. Unto him, May life abound in us. Amen.
Let us pray for the whole people of God in Christ Jesus and for all people according to their needs.
We close this day's worship with hymn number 365, Christ Be My Leader. Touch my salvation. 